welcome to another edition of mo what monotheism offers versus what atheism offers. This one is going to be about upbringing. I know from personal experience that when you are told by an authority, just told that you have to do something, not told why, not reasoned with, but not bargained with, but just told this is what you have to do, this is how you have to do it, you're going to get defiant. And my father will verify that. And he is one of the most amiable and helpful people I know. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you, it's just the way we are as people. We are doubters. We are going to say, wait, why are we doing this? And if you can explain what you're doing, obviously not all children, are, you know, there is a certain age where they are not going to understand it, and obviously you shouldn't always let small children have their way, but once they get old enough to reason with, reason with them. If you can't argue why you're doing what you're doing or why you're having them do what you're telling them to do, then there's probably a better way. And monotheism basically tells children that they're wrong. Just by virtue of their existence, they're wrong. There's something wrong with them. They are born sinful. What do you think that does to a child versus you are good, you are wanted? Even if you don't think that children should be allowed to run free, if you think that children are, as was once believed, essentially wild, like animals, and they have to be beaten to, maybe not literally anymore, but that they have to be beaten down, verbally at least, to make sure that they behave, I'm going to go ahead and guess that you want progress, that you want what's good for the people on Earth. Because if you don't, then I don't even have to make an argument. I, why, why would anyone support someone who doesn't want what's good for the human beings, at least. So if you do, which child do you think grows up to be the one to help other people and to act in a creative manner, in a productive manner? The one who's told that their very existence is a bad thing, or the one told that it's a good thing and that they can do wonderful things. I'm not claiming that all atheists are good parents. Nor am I claiming that all monotheists are bad ones. But monotheism, at least the three Abrahamic religions, the very essence of what they tell children is harmful. There have been many examples of people who, as adults, have come forward and told that they were terrified of the idea of hell. That, I don't know if any of them say this exactly, but I would personally classify it as child abuse. It is abusive to tell a child something as disgusting as the idea of hell. And it doesn't make you productive. Fear doesn't make you productive. Fear makes you run and hide and maybe fight. But it doesn't make you productive. It doesn't inspire you to build something. Hope inspires you to build. 
because you gotta have hope that it'll actually get finished and that it'll last. And that's basically what I have to say on this subject for now, so if you feel that there's something I should have brought up, mention it in the comment, mention it in the comments below. Thank you.